Meanwhile, there is pothole politics that is unfolding in Karnataka. In fact, there have been pot shots over potholes. Congress leader D.K. Shivakumar has hit out at the BJP over the state's pothole problems. In the last few months, potholes have caused dozens of accidents in the state. Some of them have also been fatal for passengers. Now, D.K. Shivakumar is pinning the blame solely on the BJP government. He, in fact, has posted a video of a road cave-in in, uh, right outside UP Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath's office. Let's just put out that road, uh, road cave-in picture for our viewers on, on, on their screens as well. Now, what does a pothole in UP have to do with Karnataka is a good question. As we put pictures of that pothole in Uttar Pradesh, right outside the Chief Minister's residence in Lucknow, well, listen in to uh, Mr. D.K. Shivakumar's explanation. He says, people don't understand that the potholes in roads across Karnataka are actually part of the BJP's UP model of development. They themselves say they want to turn Karnataka into UP, and you can see that in the potholes. Now, two things to note here. What Mr. Shivakumar says about UP roads is partially true. In the year 2021, there were more than 3,600 road accidents in the state because of potholes. Out of these, almost 45% were in Uttar Pradesh. So the state does have a problem, or at least did have a problem, until last year. But the BJP claims that the problem has been solved. In the first week of December, the UP government claimed that every single pothole in the state had been repaired. Now, I'm not making this up. The Yogi Adityanath government actually made this claim that 100% of all potholes have been fixed. We will ask the BJP spokesperson about that claim, but for the moment, let's come back to Karnataka. Yes, pothole deaths have been reported in the last few months, but is Mr. Shivakumar saying that all those bad roads were built by the BJP alone? Do remember, until 2018, the Congress and the JDS were in power in Karnataka. Before that, the state had a Congress chief minister for five years. So the blame for Karnataka's bad roads doesn't lie just with the BJP, it lies with both parties. Anila Singh is spokesperson of the BJP from Uttar Pradesh. She is joining us on the broadcast. Lavanya Balal is spokesperson of the Congress Party in Karnataka with us. And Sandeep uh, Anirudhan is uh, founder of the Citizens Agenda for Bangalore. He is with us on the broadcast as well. Uh, Anila ji, straight from Karnataka, straight Nishana at Yogi Adityanath in UP's roads. So good to be back with you on the panel, uh, Shreya. And uh, let them compare. At least this way, they are taking the name of Uttar Pradesh. See, till you come to Uttar Pradesh, you cannot understand what Uttar Pradesh is. I belong to a state, though I represent my Bharatiya Janata Party in each and every state. I keep on discussing all the national issues as well. The thing is, uh, when you come to Uttar Pradesh, you will come to know the type of development has happened under Yogi Adityanath Ji's chief ministership. Of course, he can quote an example that uh, some road caved in in front of CM's office. You know, all these roads were not made after 2017. Roads were there even before that. The quality of road material which, he used, which was used earlier was based on the commission. But in today's date, if we talk about the infrastructure development in Uttar Pradesh, at least I can say it is world class. And Uttar Pradesh has become the state of uh, expressways. Five expressways in five years. That is amazing. And same if I talk about the Karnataka, as you very well mentioned, Shreya, that before 2018, whose government was there? The thing is, if uh, some wrong happens, you cannot immediately pinpoint finger towards the ruling government. You need to check the facts. The fact is that uh, Congress is a party which is based on Commission Khori. So this is what happened in uh, Karnataka, and it used to happen before 2017 during the tenure of Samajwadi Party and BSP in Uttar Pradesh. Anila ji, wo sab to thik hai. Anila ji, wo sab to thik hai. I understand what you are saying. But uh, that big pothole, and I'm going to just ask our producers to show us that, that pothole once again, has happened in Lucknow, the capital of Uttar Pradesh. Right next to where Yogi Adityanath lives. So, this is the ma'am. If, if the Congress party in Karnataka I... is taking pot shots over this pothole, uh, then they have a point, na? You can say 100% okay. potholes repaired in UP, UP, Sadaks are like Makkhan, etc. But we also know what happened with the Bundelkhand uh, uh, Expressway days after it was inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Ma'am, we have seen all of this. 
No, Mr. Shiv Kumar doesn't have uh, any ethic right to pinpoint finger towards Uttar Pradesh. As I mentioned, that this road was constructed okay. earlier, uh -huh. and if it has caved down, definitely it will be corrected. Uh -huh. As I told you, this is the state, uh -huh. humongous populated state. So things keep on hap happening. Heavy traffic uh -huh. on the roads. So if something okay. wrong happens, it is corrected immediately. But if somebody says that in Uttar Pradesh uh -huh. all roads are full. With potholes, that is absolutely ah. incorrect, or I will say a lie. And I think he is a big face in uh, Karnataka uh, politics. He should not keep on lying like that. And if he has to check the facts, please come to Uttar Pradesh. Be this our is, guest. La Lavanya. Okay. Acha, Lavanya. Uh, there's a direct invite from Anila Singh Ji for Mr. D.K. Shivakumar to come to Uttar Pradesh and see its roads. The comment was below the belt. Of course, it's a larger, larger large pothole and it is an embarrassment for the UP administration, the UP government and Yogi Adityanath as well. Uh, but to say that this is the Vikas model that the BJP wants to bring to Karnataka is slightly unfair given the Congress Party's own track record and civic issues. Uh, good evening, Shreya. Uh, we have had Yogi Adityanath Shri come down to Karnataka quite often during the election phases and, uh, you know, tell us that how we are very underdeveloped and we should look up to UP as a model of development. And our own CM, Mr. Basavraj Bomai, repeatedly in his tenure has said he wants to bring the UP model in Karnataka. Our only question time mm -hmm. and again has been, so. how is Karnataka in comparison to UP a state which is lesser than UP in terms of, you know, uh, way of life, the standards of living, the education, the security of women, or for that matter, infrastructure. If you look at Morbi Bridge, or if you look at uh, Bundelkhand, or if you look at this current pothole, see, what you get from the BJP is utter disregard for human life. Even in Karnataka, we are plagued with potholes. If you look at, I think we had a discussion about this, Shreya, just a couple of days back. And I myself, if I go back to my diary and check, from the mm -hmm. last one year, I have been attending debates at least once a week about potholes and once a month about the pothole deaths in Bangalore. And every time we hear BJP coming and saying, you know what, Congress is responsible for this. BJP will never take responsibility that they have not been able to deliver the promises that they have made, that they are not able to deliver the administration that they okay. should be giving. Also, one of the most important points today that we were just discussing before the debate started, contractors. We have one more contractor dying today. Karnataka is yeah. right now going through the UP model. And of course, we have to ask them, is this the UP model that you're promising Karnataka? Well, uh, Sandeep, would you want to come in here? This is, this is a transnational fight between the Congress and the BJP. Any comments <laughs> given that at this point of time, it is anything that the Congress says is, is slightly rich coming from them as well, given that till 2018 it was the Congress party in power. And before yeah. that, there was a Congress chief minister in place. Correct. Shreya, uh, thanks for having me on the show. Uh, let me say that both of them are right and wrong about certain things. Let me give you perspective. Perspective number one is, see, Uttar Pradesh has such low indicators of social development on all fronts compared to Karnataka. Karnataka is supposed to be ahead. And for these parties to be referring to UP when comparing Karnataka itself is stooping very low. I think it's very bad that uh, we asked it is stooped so low. It's really sad. That's reflecting very badly on BJP government at the moment. Second thing, see the 2015 uh, PIL, in the High Court of Karnataka is the called the Pothole PIL. It was filed by Vijayan Menon of uh, CF Bengaluru. Now, that has been ongoing from 2015. So, this pothole issue predates the present government. In all fairness, every government before this has been delivering very badly. Now, the pothole deaths in India, the highest number is happening in Bangalore. So, that is a fact. So, basically, this government or any government should hang their head in shame. Now, the fourth issue is, this is systemic, okay? There is corruption in BBMP, there's corruption in Karnataka government. It goes back a couple of decades, which is why Karnataka, which is one of the richest states in India, unfortunately delivers very poorly. In any border of Karnataka, when you're crisscrossing the borders, every other state has better roads than Karnataka. Karnataka, not only Bengaluru, throughout Karnataka, delivers very poor quality road construction. Now, coming to BJP in specific, 
See, we have to admit that in UP, when BJP came to power, this is following national politics, actually politics improved in UP. It actually brought down corruption. It brought, it improved service delivery. And a lot of my friends who live in UP actually concur with uh, the BJP spokesman in saying that things have improved, roads have improved there. That we have to admit. But what has happened in Karnataka? Karnataka, the BJP came to power through horse trading. They actually had to spend crores of uh, hundreds and thousands of crores buying uh, Congress politicians who are extremely corrupt. So basically, the BJP came to power in Karnataka by co-opting corruption. They brought the same corruption along with them, and it only increased the rates of corruption, which is why the present BJP government is extremely corrupt. Corruption rates have gone higher. Now, the final point is, the real reason why all this corruption is so bad in Karnataka is because, one, we do not have devolution. We do not have an autonomous civic government. We don't, the BBMP is, doesn't even have elections for three years. So we don't know whom to catch. We have to go all the way to the CM. When you have the state ministers interfering and meddling with everything that happens with Bengaluru, all that it does is it adds a layer of corruption. We need a city government, an empowered city government, we should follow the 74th Amendment. We should have an independent MPC and we should leave the city okay. to the city elected civic council of BBMP. That does not happen. The state government is not willing to let go because they want to plunder the city. This is the real fact. This is why everything is so horrible here. We do not have transparency. We do not have proper systems and execution. Our contracts do not specify, uh, say, penalties for bad construction. It doesn't have a maintenance clause, it doesn't have, uh, say, if it simply had transparency, every road had a board which says which contractor is building this, what are the terms of the contract, if we had uh, the contract details up online, then we can find somebody who's responsible, we can hold them responsible. This sort so, of transparency is not happening. So, if Adirud, we simply had transparency and if we had proper... Adirud, so the politicians... So, yes. the, so the politicians can go on taking pot shots at each other over potholes. Fact is that smart tweets and smart lines do not win you an election. If you don't deliver, ultimately you will be voted out. So we leave it at that for the moment. Thank you very much, Anila Singh, for joining us. I will concur, by the way, with Anila Singh and say that things have improved in Uttar Pradesh and roads have improved in Uttar Pradesh because I live here, my family lives here. Alavanya, we leave it there for the moment. Thank you very much. And Sandeep, always very, very good to have you. Thank you very much all for joining us here. Shifting our force.